So if we look at the weekly chart at a big view, okay, we had this uh, big head, double top, shoulder, shoulder, lower high, lower high, and we did break the lower high here, here yeah, with a double bottom, see this huge double bottom here, and we started forming the higher lows, okay? See higher low, higher low, higher low. So you've rejected to the tick the top of your probability box indicator rule of fur that, that we use for long-term investing and swing trading, which by the way, you can get absolutely free below by text, texting the 954 phone number. We'll tell you exactly how to you get it for free for trading view. Now, if you look at side by side here. And we were at the top here towards the 46.20. We were looking for a reject. And it reject because you had the institutional zone red plus the edge, the top edge, 100% of the box, probability box rule of third. And so everything was converging. So look what's happening right now. If you look at the big picture, it looks really like we're trying, right, to do some handle here, see? We have the down channel that we retested this week. And it's all of this is like a cup. And all of this is like a high or low handle. So where would that land? Well, between now, FOMC and the next three months, we are going to completely bottom those markets. Why? Because we have to assume this high or low trend line that we have here that we started in 2022 is going to hold. This is going to be the most important trend line. If that doesn't hold, boom, everything is game over in the assumption. And this level in the assumption is going to be 4,085 to the 4,175. So we've come very, very close last week at 4,189. So you can argue either we have finished the cup. You know, we touched the bottom of the channel. Or we are going to continue, you know, between now and um, March, go up, rebound strong, go back down to the cup. But eventually, this is going to resolve here to a cup and a handle. That's the handle, and that's the breakup. All the assumption of this is valid if we hold the 4,085, 41.75, right? So what is important to look? And by the way, when you look at this chart, I want to point out that each time we touch that trend line, it comes with massive volume. Look at the volume, huge volume coming. There's abnormal volume coming to that trend line. So the target buy, right, has been almost reached last week at 41.75 to this 4,085. You know, this is like the best buy that we can get within now and the next three months, even after the FOMC meeting, 4,085, 41.75. So we might work our way through, and I would look at three things. And, and I show you how I time my day trading today and any day, really. DXY, the ZN, the bond. And then you look at the, the NASDAQ, the NQ, the SPX, right? Or the VIX as well, right? And so when the DXY goes down today, the ZN went up. Flight, the DXY goes down, risk asset on, you know, ZN went up, ZN went up, the rates went down. That gave confidence for people to get back in in the risk assets. The, look at the perfect example of a great day on how you can really use these synergies to help you. We started the day here, look, 9.30, and z z the DXY started going down. The all going down means risk asset on. People start buying it. Bitcoin, people are buying uh, the market. Look, 9.30, 
same on NASDAQ, look, the NASDAQ started flying. At the bottom, by the way, at the bottom of the probability rule of firm. This one is the premium one because we use it with all time frames. You can use it under the daily. But look, right there, boom. The bottom of the probability box rule of firm. Look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ went up 300 points. Do you know what it is, 300 points on NQ? That's $6,000 a contract. You have 10 contracts, right? And you have some broker that allows you to have $500 a contract, a trade of it or whatever. And then that is uh, $60,000, $60,000 move today. And those are the stuff that are interesting because you can use that profit and reinject those profits into real asset. Like you go, go buy yourself one or two Bitcoin with that. You know, go buy a Bitcoin and reinvest another 30K into very solid stocks and that have real company, real brand, real revenues, and real uh, uh, sales, right? So look what happened today. DXY down, ZN up. See, the ZN double bottom from Friday took the middle part of the double tongue, bottom and continues. That's very powerful because going into FOMC, if we can hold this 106 area, 1066, 106, 107, then assets are looking good. Even if we have huge retracements between now and March, I got to see this ZN above this 106, 07, 10607. That's a good one. But you want that ZN to go up again, guys. ZN up, DXY down, and look what happened. You have this NASDAQ flying in this channel today of 300 points. So coming into FOMC next week, this is the stuff that you want to look at. Are we going to all the 106.09? Because otherwise I have a bottom bottom here on this calculator at 105.01, right? Within the next three, four months. But right now, as we talk, as we speak, 107, 106.07, if the feds are dovish next week, then that holds and the market pulls back. You know, and pull back the way I told you, even if it goes to that cup 4175, 4085 between now and the next three months, it's a huge opportunity one last time before the 2024 elections, right? And it's a huge opportunity, in my opinion, guys, you know, to, uh, to accumulate assets, you know? So, Hopefully this is helpful. You know, this is the, the, the stuff that I, I wanted to share. So the key here is I want you guys to keep in mind this cup and handle, right? The cup, the huge channel since 2021. The cup is here. The handle is forming right now, right? And then do we break up all time high? And this, and you see huge volume here, huge volume here, huge volume possibly here as well. So it's going to be very, very key that you are patient. So what I was telling you in my latest video, right, is that if the election is in November, you can't eight, six to nine months before that. So. Then you have October, September, August, July, right? June, May, April, March. So how many months is that? March is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So February. So you know between now where we are now and where we had a, a significant low on Friday, one week before the FOMC roughly or 10 days. If we rebound here and go back here one more time between now and February and we complete 
is higher low with a lot of volume that cup, then we set up ourselves for all time highs, right? And of course, you know, trading and analysis is you adapt as a trader, you adapt your flow. If we significantly breach this 4,075 and the 200 moving average, oh yeah, well, all bets are off. But if you look at the, the, the way the market behaves now since 2021, it looks like this is going to be, there's a lot of money in the sidelines. And there's a lot of doom and gloom with the war in the Middle East, in Ukraine and things. If those things somewhat improve and the relationship with a new president improve on the geopolitical front, this is going to create a lot, a lot of explosion. But in the meanwhile, look, you already see the cryptos flying. I mean, look, if you look at we are going on the down channel on the SPX, but look at BTC. Like it's flying, it's getting out of everything. You know, it's retaking the major double uh, double top middle path. That is important for me when I trade and invest. Look, this is this middle path. That was the top of the box. It's taken. And it's going out out of all the boxes. When it's going out of all the boxes, there is a high probability continuation to 38,000 on Bitcoin with a very strong support now at uh, here, 30,000, 30,200. Okay. So hopefully that helps everybody going into the FOMC. But most importantly, if you are a trader and not an investor, but you know, being both is even better. And that's what I do. But most of my money is in uh, swing trading and long-term investing. But when I do day trade, which I specialize in SPY options, ES futures, DXY, ZN, right? Your VIX, our power volume indicator is very important. That's a secret weapon we use for trading SPY. It's part of our premium tools, right? And of course, our double in the double stack indicators, the probability box roll of third on the left, which you can get for free for higher time frame, the uh, long term uh, real time on the right, and we have our zones, and also you have our signals here, right, that can help you time so that you don't go counter kind of trend and you follow the volume institutional volume, major volume, short term and long term. This is for day trading. This is for swing trading and long term. And when it's blue, you're looking for longs on pullback. And this on, on Bitcoin has worked very, very well. Okay, so hopefully it helps everybody. You know, it's going to be, I'm sure, a rocky up and down. You know, it has been really good actually for, for traders that trade small sizes and trade big ranges. It's it's better trade smaller sizes, big ranges right now, you know, because if you trade big size and you get caught in a wide range in the wrong uh, side of the trade, you'll get killed. You'll get wiped out, right? But the, don't forget, keep on dollar cost averaging, dollar cost averaging those assets because, you know, when that cup is down in the market, there's no looking back to the next cycle. And this is potentially right there. If we hold this Bitcoin 29K, 30K, and it's not a fake here, this is potentially the, the, the end of the cycle for Bitcoin as well, okay? So hopefully that was helpful, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video. And check your email also for our yearly Halloween special. You know, we do that Halloween special only once a year for our class. I don't do a lot of classes. This year I did only three and two of the class are offered to you at a discount. Okay, you take care everybody.